Welcome to this new series, guys. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is once a week, I'm going to go through the internet and find my top five cool military vehicles that you could buy right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, so my first pick is this M35A2, deuce and a half. So, from the outside, it just looks like a really nice, clean deuce and a half with a winch and some super single tires. But, this is no regular deuce and a half. This is special because it has a 12 valve Cummins diesel engine in here. This is a pretty cool swap. It also comes with a five speed manual and a winch. So, this is a very unique deuce and a half. If you've ever driven a deuce and a half with the original LDT 465 engine, they're pretty good. They sound great. You know, they're nice, fun trucks, but. Having a 5.9 in here gives you a lot more possibilities. So it is definitely a really cool swap. So we're going to go through the pictures and uh, let's see if we could see anything else on here. So, of course, you can see in the front it has that really nice looking winch. It also has the super single wheels. Really nice paint job. So this one, it looks like it has just the standard seats in there, which they're not bad. They're pretty good. Here is the engine. You could tw you could tell it's a 12 valve because of uh, the individual valve covers. If it was a 24 valve 5.9, it would have one solid valve cover. That's just a quick and easy way to identify them. There's another pitcher. Looks like they kept the stock air box and all that in there. Now this right here, this is the hydraulic steering. So if you've ever driven a deuce and a half without power steering, you basically can't really move the wheel when it's not even moving. And yeah, it can be a pain in the ass. Your, your arms get a little bit tired, but this hydraulic steering helps out tremendously. It makes a huge difference. I've had, I've owned both. I've owned my first ever deuce and a half had hydraulic steering in it. And the second one I had did not had no power assist steering and it was night and day difference. So there it is, there is the power steering ram. Pretty clean interior. Everything, all the data plates look nice and uh, you know, it's been all painted. Now this one, I believe this is, this used to be an M35A2C. And you could tell by the drop side beds and uh, those drop side beds are actually used for like forklift loading and all that. All around looks like a very nice and clean deuce and a half. So the price point, they're coming around $19,980 or you could also make them an offer. That is a lot to pay for a deuce and a half, but considering all the work done to this vehicle, um, you know, I think it would probably definitely be worth it. So there you go. Repowered with a 5.9 liter Cummins. Has a mechanical injection pump, so you know that nothing's going to happen to the uh, electronic system because there pretty much is no electronic system with the uh, mechanical injection pump. Five speed transmission. Clear title. This is definitely a really nice deuce and a half right here. All right, so my next pick of the week is this Stewart and Stevenson. It is an M1081, and the reason why I chose this one is, as you can see from the hinges on the windows and the doors, this is a LVAD version, which means it's designed to be launched and dropped out of an airplane. So that's definitely something pretty awesome about this uh, Stewart and Stevenson. It's I'm not used to. Uh, these versions because I've never owned one of these so other than that it is a very nice and clean Stuart and Stevenson has a nice cargo cover on the top the paint looks pretty fresh the black accents look really nice because as you can see it is very nice and clean it also comes with a tag so it's already tagged and on the road this is with the cargo cover off. 
The interior looks pretty nice and clean. All the seats look good. It doesn't look like there's any tears. Pretty clean dash. I don't know why, but every single time I've owned a Stuart & Stevenson, the steering wheel is like off center, even when the, the tires are straight. I mean, I know it's like pretty easy fix, but uh, just something I've noticed. I've never owned a Stuart & Stevenson with a steering wheel that is aligned with the tires. I don't know what they're all doing. So here's the speedometer. Mud flaps look brand new. All the underneath seems to be painted. Very nice and clean truck. Doesn't look like there's any leaks. You can't, I mean, you can't really tell all the way, but some of the data tags on there. So yeah, right here, it's a rare airdrop truck. So these have Caterpillar six-cylinder turbo diesels in them with an, uh, paired with an Allison seven-speed automatic transmission. This one has pretty low miles, 13,000 miles, although you can never really tell because uh, I heard in the military they might change out the speedometer and they don't reset it to the original miles. But, uh, I mean, it looks to be only 13,000 miles. It looks very good condition. Um, hard top, Goodyear tires. It comes with a spare tire on there. Uh, fold down bed sides. Uh, the canvas cover with the Bose, I mean, that canvas cover makes this truck look awesome in my opinion. So yeah, this is definitely a really nice, clean Stuart & Stevenson if you're looking for one. And the price isn't that bad. I think it's uh, $18,600. I'm sure you could always give them an offer and they might consider it. But uh, yeah, this is definitely like a, a really nice Stuart & Stevenson. And you could call their number for any questions. All right, moving on to the most expensive vehicle of the week. This is a custom military vehicle built on a 6x6 Cayman chassis. Uh, I believe this is a replica of an MRAP. Um, if you don't know what an MRAP is, it is basically a mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicle. So this is definitely a really cool vehicle. Um, a lot of work has gone into it, as you can see by the price. Um, but yeah, let's get down to it. So basically these MRAPs, they are mine resistance because they have a V-shaped hull that deflects the explosion away from the vehicle, which is pretty neat. This seems to be all armored. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how thick the glass is, but I'm sure that might be armored glass, as you could tell by the greenish tint. I could be wrong. They could just put green tint on them. I don't know. But it looks bulletproof. So here's the rear hatch. It looks like it all has keys on it all, on all the um, door handles. Can't really tell on that one. But I'm sure it's lockable, which is always good. Pretty cool jump seats. It has those harnesses on them. That looks to be like an air conditioning vent almost. Yeah, that looks like air conditioning uh, controls right there with all the vents. So that's nice, nice air conditioned vehicle. Pretty plain looking bench seats. Uh, don't look very comfortable. I think those are seats, but uh, you could always put chairs in there, I guess. Or if you're into it, you could make it into a pretty sick camper vehicle. So those are all the pictures they have right there. You can check out their video. I've I've looked at it before. It was pretty cool. I just drove around. Uh, top speed is 77 miles an hour. That's pretty awesome for one of these. Um, has a six-cylinder. Uh, Caterpillar C9 diesel in there with a Caterpillar CX28 transmission, automatic six-speed, all full-time all-wheel drive, towing capacity 13 tons, so you could tow your yacht around in this. I don't know, but it is U.S. sales only, and it looks like you need U.S. government approval. So that might uh, illuminate some of the buyers if you do have almost three hundred thousand dollars laying around to go buy one of these um, so you can see it also has some pretty crazy uh, rims on there they I think these have the CTIS system which inflates the tires and uh, so yeah got some pretty cool spotlights on the top 
Looks like it has a nice big old winch on the front. And uh, here's a air glad hand. And I think that right there is a jump cable, battery jumper cable. So you could, uh, or they call it a slave cable. So you could jump the batteries off another mil military vehicle if you have the correct connectors. Look at the size of the door hinges on this thing. That's crazy. Has a pretty cool little ramp going up to the back door. Man, this thing is really awesome. All right, so we're throwing a little foreign vehicle into the mix. This one is a Russian GAZ-46 or a GAZ-46 amphibious Jeep. So these are pretty rare. There was only 654 of them built. And they were built from 1952 to 1955. This one in particular was restored and engine swapped to a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine. I guess the original engines that came in these were kind of underpowered. So this one has been professionally restored back in, I don't know when, but this one has been professionally restored. So let's go through some of these pictures. The thing is definitely pretty cool. I can imagine driving up to the boat ramp at the, uh, at the lake and just going straight in. That would confuse some people. That would be pretty funny. So it has a boat front end. Looks pretty cool. Looks like there might be some leaks down there on the floor, but uh, all military vehicles pretty much leak. Um, this looks like the air filter up here. Has some pretty cool lights. Although I don't really think I'd want to be driving this thing through the water at night, but uh, got some lights up front. That's good. That's always good. Uh, it says Gaz 46 MPA. I don't know what that stands for, but that's the maker, the GAZ. Pretty cool. Got a spare tire up there. It looks like the propeller is down there. It's got a pintle hitch so you could tow your whatever, your trailer right into the water with you. Got some brake lights up there and I'm pretty sure, I don't know about these, but I think they are blackout lights. I don't know, I've never been up close to one of these. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Yep, there's a big old red propeller and uh, I'm guessing when you turn the steering wheel this flap might turn and so you kind of steer in the water. Looks like it has a manual transmission, parking brake, I'm pretty sure this is an infrared searchlight. I don't know. I, I, I think it is. Pretty nice steering wheel. This thing's awesome. Here's another clip from the front. So it has a little tow hook right there. Spot for your European license plate. Another interior shot. There's a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine. Pretty cool. This thing is awesome. So it is kind of expensive, but uh, you know, if you're looking for a rare military vehicle and you're into some Soviet vehicles, or you just want a car slash boat, then uh, this might be the right choice for you. All right, so here's a vehicle that I found on Steel Soldiers in the. Uh, actual classifieds vehicle for sale section so if you are looking for one of these head over to steel soldiers this is a fast attack vehicle serial number two so it is uh, a very early production one and it has a turbocharged BMW diesel engine in it so this thing is pretty cool I've actually never seen one of these before and they did say it also has airbag suspension on it. So you can see the airbags right there. Pretty cool. And it does look like a four-seater maybe. I don't know if you can really get in the back seats. But right here's a side picture. It looks like it has a gun turret on top and a pretty cool antenna. I wonder what size tires those are. Those look pretty cool. Actually, you know what? They look like Humvee tires almost. They're probably 37 inches. 
Um, anyways, going around to the other pitchers, it looks like the engine is in the back. There's a low exhaust pipe. I'm guessing the radiator might be there. Pretty tool. Now this pitcher, the guy has two huge guns on top of it, which is pretty, pretty crazy. He's going wild. Pretty cool ventilation system for the engine. Looks like you could also strap some things down to there. Maybe some ammo boxes or whatnot. Here is a top view. A little bit rusty, but uh, just looks like surface rust. I don't think it's too bad. Pretty cool. I don't think you could use the back seats in here. Or maybe you might be able to place a back seat right here. I'm not too sure. On to the next picture. Here is the diesel engine. Looks like it's all just been painted over, which uh, kind of sucks. But I'm sure... If you're buying this, you probably want to take all this out and make it really nice anyways. Uh, right there's a little turbo. Doesn't look intercooled because the boost tube is just going straight to the intake manifold. Uh, going on to the next picture. Has just the normal military turn signals, military light controls. It's pretty cool. Looks like it's be looks like an automatic transmission. There's the tires. Those are some crazy looking tires. Those are pretty cool looking. And what is this? This does this come with spare fenders or they just showed a picture of the tire. I'm not sure. Spare oh, included in sales. Spare wheel and tire. Uh, spare rear fenders. There you go. This thing's pretty cool. Asking price is thirty six five. So also has great fuel economy. That's what they're saying. Pretty cool. I'd love to see one of these in person. Pretty neat vehicle. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this first ever video of this series. I'll be posting videos like this once a week. Um, I'll also be posting all the links to all the uh, pages down in the comment section. So you can go check them out if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions or if you have anything that you think I should improve on, let me know down in the comment section. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Over and out.